you guys can see I already put masking tape on the bumper because I'm going to be removing it. But today we have a 2022 Toyota Highlander. Um, it's just going to be getting several upgrades today. Client left it off for a day. He will be picking it up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of work to be done. So let's talk about what I can't offer you guys with a T. So client went ahead and bought himself some roof rack. I cannot, I cannot offer this to you guys. I know I get several people that they see I install something and sometimes I don't offer it. It's something that the client gets and I just install it for them. So this is a roof rack. Um, you can buy it yourself on Amazon and eBay and I'll do the installation. I do not offer this. Um, he told me that it's directly made for the Toyota Highlander. So it should be easy to install them. Same thing here. He has the stepping boards. Right up, just by looking at it, I, I, I see that the stepping board's a bit small. It's supposed to, uh, obviously it's not gonna cover that whole thing, but we'll see. It's also directly made for the Toyota Highlander. But here we have things that I can offer you. Similar to the Honda CRV fog light illumination. This is the fog light illumination for the Toyota Highlander. This is a 2022, so it's the corresponding generation to that year. Um, same thing with the rear reflectors. Right now he has some boring red reflectors. He's gonna be swapping those out for some LED plug and play ones that do brake light and parking light. He also got this on Amazon and eBay. Um, I think it's a uh, bright yellow for fog lights um, because he has fog lights already in this vehicle. This vehicle already comes with fog lights. So it's gonna be bright yellow, kind of like that racing mode yellow. Um, but yeah, so we can offer the lighting for you guys, but in terms of um, roof rack and stepping boards, we do not offer that. That's something you have to get yourself. But yeah, several upgrades. It is plug and play and it is easy, but it's very time consuming. Uh, you can see that I already started removing the bumper. Well, not I didn't start removing the bumper. I already put, put masking tape on it. I did notice here, just like documenting it. I did notice that the bumper is out of place. See that? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix that for the client. See that the clips are out. Hopefully when I remove the bumper, install the fog light illumination, I'm gonna see if I can fix that for him because you know, he's making, he's doing so many upgrades on the front. So I might as well try to make it look good for him. Right? So removing the bumper, I'll see what happened. Maybe I can fix it. Since there's thousands of videos of how to take off the bumper off a 2022 Toyota Highlander, I just went ahead and skipped over. So once you guys have the bumper removed, this is what you'll be met with. By the way, the fog lights he brought me, which were H11s are not going to work here. As you can see, the plug is a lot more different. Um, but that's okay. He's mainly here to install the fog light illumination. You can see that they're held in with screws, Phillips exactly. So you remove those three Phillips and then there's going to be clips. As you can see, you push those in and that's going to allow the panel, the, the black trim to just come off easily. I promise you it's as easy as I make it sound. So before you install the new fog light illumination, you want to go ahead and mask all of your wiring with some electrical tape. You can use like regular rubbery electrical tape. Um, but that does wear off over time. We like to use dealership factory tape. So this is the tape that's pretty much waterproof, resistant to pretty much all elements. So that's going to extend its durability. Companies like Amazon and eBay will tell you, yes, it's waterproof, water resistant, whatever. But they're usually referring to the actual light panel, not the wiring behind it. After you get all the wiring wrapped up with electrical tape, you can now install the fog light illumination. The same way you remove them, it's going to be the same way you install them. You literally just push them in, they clip in. After that, all you have to do is just screw in those same three screws that you removed in the first place. Rinse and repeat that same process on the other side. After you get that out of the way, now you have to focus on the main harness. The main harness comes with a box. I already wrapped everything with electrical tape. This is an example of what it should look like. No water is going to get in. Now in terms of cable organization, um, to each their own, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do mine. Give you guys an idea of how I'm going to do it and then show you guys the before and after. Um, so right now, obviously, I'm about to run it. Obviously, always do the wiring first and then mount the bumper. Don't mount the bumper and try to fish wires through. Don't do that. You know, do it now since everything is off and, you know, everything is clear. You can see everything. So what I'm going to do is my plan. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie. It's kind of like how I do with the RAV4. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie to the actual frame. See that? I'm going to zip tie here. Obviously, the power and ground, I'm going to connect that to the headlight. That's going to be my parking light. Um, and then each fog light has a yellow wire you're gonna do that to its corresponding headlight and that's gonna be signal light all right so yeah i'm gonna zip tie it here right i'm gonna zip tie it to the frame run the there's there's a small one and there's a longer one see that the longer one is gonna be your passenger side so I'm, there's a harness here right i'm gonna go ahead and zip tie it to this harness and then i'm gonna stretch it i'm gonna stretch it here if i leave it loose it's gonna be wiggly i gotta stretch it so it's nice and tight zip tie it to this frame here drill a hole zip tie it and then uh probably zip tie it to this harness, which is the main harness of the bumper with all the sensors. And that it's gonna, I'm gonna leave it hanging here, ready to be connected. Same thing here. I'm gonna zip tie it to the harness, probably this one or something, and leave it loose so I, it can be ready to connect it. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do the job and I'm going to show you guys how it looks after so you guys can try to copy me. So I ran it behind the bumper padding as you can see. I just feel like it's a lot more tighter and more safer there. Now for the passenger fog light illumination, you, I'm, I did exactly what I said I would. Sip tied it to the harness. Sip tied each side here on the slit so when I pull it won't go back or forward. It's secure there. Then again right under the bumper padding. It can, it can be a little bit tight here just because the fog light illumination panel the wire that comes out of it is pretty long itself so you don't have to worry about it the connections after you plug in the connections you also want to wrap that with electrical tape that's my tip so it also prolongs it how do i find my power my ground my signal lights without a diagram we do have diagrams but i just feel like it's easier and i feel more confident trusting the wiring when i test it myself so if i turn on the parking lights all i have to do is with a tester probe i have to see which one is on i already tested it so i know exactly it's the middle one a second and then i'm gonna do the same thing for the parking light and i'm gonna look for ground the ground is the one there you see how it turns on and if i turn off the parking light then it's gonna go back to negative so i know i'm gonna connect my red to that my ground i'm gonna look for the ground and then for the signal lights i'm gonna put the hazards on and test or probe each one um so you can do that or you can look for diagrams online um like i said i do it this way just because i feel more confident actually testing it in real life um because diagrams i mean they're, they're, they're for the most part right I just don't want to risk it, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and get my wiring, then I'm going to show you guys how it looks after, you know, with the tape and all. After you are finished with your connections, you can now use the electrical tape to make it look prettier. And you can plug it in. I recommend that you plug in your headlights. And with the bumper still on the floor, not put in. You try out your lights, make sure everything works. Parking lights, signal lights. And obviously, if it doesn't turn on, then it's probably missing ground. Depending on how you install it, you're going to have a little bit of excess wire. I definitely did have a little bit of excess wire, so I just zip tied it all together. But my goal here, as you can see, is for the client to be able to look into his engine bay and not see a spider web of wiring. See, it looks factory as if nothing was done. Now you can go ahead and test the lights and mount the bumper. All right, and now the job is done. Check it out. Now, when I say fog light illumination, I always mean that it's illumination, not projection. Because some people, they watch the Honda CRV video and they're like, what the hell, that's not a fog light? No, it's a fog light illumination. Um, projection would be the bulb down there. You guys saw that we weren't able to change that, but turned out very nice. I think it matches the color perfectly because that was their goal. Um, very nice. This is illumination. So in other words, it's just for looks. It's not really helping you see better. It's just so when people see the front end of the vehicle, it looks a lot more modern. Um, and it's directly made for the vehicle. You guys saw it was nothing custom. I'm going to enter the video right now while I'm talking of the showcase of how they turn on and stuff. You guys see, you guys also saw that the roof rack is done the stepping boards are done and behind the vehicle we already did the led lights you guys are probably thinking like damn where's the rest of the video so i'm not really happy with how the other footage turned out like in terms of the stepping board it was too loud in here the camera was too shaky it was hard to record under there same thing with the rear reflectors uh the um, the roof rack i could have made a video on it but after i didn't make you know the two the stepping board and the reflector i was like okay i'm just not going to record the the roof rack so i do apologize for that the only footage i'm proud of really is the proud proud to showcase is the fog light illumination so i hope you guys forgive me for that but for you guys who are buying it for me or buying it you know on amazon because they do sell it on amazon as well you guys know how to install it now so you guys know we do it best here at pnp if you guys have any questions for me and want any quotes shoot me a call and i'll take care of you if you want to speak to me directly when you call the shop just ask for junior and they'll pass me over